I love the beach mom, but today, my friends and I are going to pick up the scattered trash. I heard a bad storm messed up the beach. That's very thoughtful of you, sweetheart. Hey, Brooke. Hi, guys. Ready to go to the beach? Yeah, that storm was awful. It knocked over the trash cans everywhere. Yuck, trash can make animals sick and could potentially kill them. Oh, yeah. Didn't our teacher present what happens when the ocean is polluted? Yeah, it makes me sad when animals die. Ah, uh, Brooke, don't worry, we know how to take care of our planet, I'm sure if we work together, we can clean up the mess at the beach fast. Yeah, you're right Amber, we can save the beach from pollution, but what about the park? Don't worry Brooklyn, Charlie the Robot Kid is back in town from Beyond Horizons, he's helping us clear the trash at the park, and he's doing it really fast. Wow, if anyone can blow our mind, it's Charlie. Well look who it is, my sweet little sister. Hey, Bridget, hee <coughs> hee. <coughs> Guys, this is my big sister Bridget, she goes to high school, and she's the best big sister ever. This is Amber, Carter, and Otto. It's so nice to finally meet you, I heard about your adventures with my sister, you are quite impressive for young kids. Thanks Bridget. You know, I actually have a sister too, except she's younger than me. My sister is eight and her name is Sydney, and I have a cousin named Jacob, who's the same age as my sister. Sweet. All right, kid detectives, are you ready to go to the beach? The beach? I'm coming too. Someone has to keep an eye on you for. Actually, we could use an extra hand. We're actually gonna help clean up the beach. Then I'll come help, anything to better the environment. Yeah. yeah. So this is where Brooklyn lives now, huh? That she thinks she can run away from me? After the long search for her, I'm moving into Beyond City. Hey, watch where you are going, punk. I actually take punk as a compliment. Thank you very much. What? You like being called a punk? Who are you? I'm Brayden Rogers, and I'm looking for a kid who I once made trouble for. A girl with purple hair bows and a purple t-shirt and brown skin, and her name is... Brooklyn? Uh, I know who you're talking about. She is part of a dumb group called the Beyond City Kid Detectives. They foiled my plans last time. You're a troublemaker too? That's awesome. You know what? I want to hang out with you. Yeah, right. Why would I hang out with a little boy? I'm a grown man, plus I work alone. So no way. What if we get revenge on them? Revenge? Yep, and this time, this plan won't fail. You know, it would be nice to get revenge on those kids. Okay, I'm in. Wow, this place is a mess. This is gonna take a long time to clean up, but on the bright side, you never know when trash can become treasure. Trash can be turned into treasure. Yep, some trash can actually be recycled into something useful. Like this old can could be turned into a piggy bank. And this old busted picture frame could be turned into a work of art with the right materials. And this old robot head can be remade into Hold on, that may actually come in handy. Maybe we should keep that. I've been studying robotics recently. I have an idea on how to give it some repairs. And reprogram it to something useful. Good idea. Meanwhile, I'll find some other stuff that needs to be recycled. Amber, what's wrong? Oh, um guys, you may want to take a look at this.
I don't get it. Why was there a little girl crushed under that garbage? <sighs> oh, thank goodness she's okay. Whoa, that was unexpected. Where am I? You're on the beach. We found you buried in garbage. Wait, what? Oh gosh, I must have drifted to sleep after washing up on the shore. You're not from Beyond City? Who are you? My name's Zoe Fields, and you must be? I'm Amber, and these are my friends, Brooklyn, Otto, Carter, and Bridget. Hi, Hello. nice to meet you. How did you get washed up here? Well, my family is moving here to V Yon City all the way from V Yon Horizons. We traveled by cruise ship, but then a storm hit us and I fell off the ship. So wait, you're actually moving here? Yeah, I'm surprised to be here early. If only my parents were here with me, I miss them. <laughs> Ah, please don't cry Zoe, I'm sure your family will come soon. Really? Yeah, and while we wait for your family, we can get you some new clothes so that you won't have to be stuck in your bathing suit. Yeah, I could use some new dry clothes. I have some money on me, I can take you to the mall nearby. Thank you guys, by the way, why are you at the beach anyways? That's why we're here, we were cleaning the beach. That's amazing, after we shop, I'll help too. We'll take care of you till your parents get here. You can join us Zoe. Thank you. Thank you all. Let's go while it's still open. Doug, that girl is Brooklyn's sister Bridget. She was the one who suggested for her family to move here, away from me. So, what are we going to do? For revenge, we will kidnap her sister. And when they come to my hideout, we'll trap Brooklyn and her friends as well. Ooh, nice plan. Once we get rid of them, we can take over Beyond City and cause as much trouble as we want, with nobody around to foil our plans ever again. Ha 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 ha. I've hated Bridget and Brooklyn ever since they got me expelled from my old school. As revenge, together, we will capture Bridget to teach Brooklyn a lesson for opposing me. You know I'd do anything to get rid of those brats after they ruin my plans, Brayden. Oh no, Bridget, I have to do something to distract them. That cardboard cutout gives me an idea. I'll play a little trick on them. Good thing my phone is waterproof, and it looks like the cafe has a Bluetooth speaker. Did you hear that? Ooh, it's an ice cream truck. I could go for an ice cream break. Come on. What? We've been fooled. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Why play an ice cream truck track if you're not a damn ice cream truck? That will slow them down a bit. I need to warn the others. Um, Amber, I wouldn't use a broom. You're sweeping sand in the air. Did you say something? <coughs> ah, in my eyes. Hey guys, I got the water. Amber, are you okay? I got sand in my eyes. Hold on, stay still. I told you not to use that broom. I thought it would be a good idea, but lesson learned. Thanks, Bridget. Kid detectives, I present to you. The new and improved Zoe Fields. How do I look? Sweet. Wow, you look awesome Zoe. Looking pretty Zoe. Thank you. Hey Zoe, how old are you anyways? I'm nine. Same here, we're almost at double digits Zoe. Alright kid detectives, let's get back to cleaning the beach. I guess we have a lot more work to do. True. But if we work together, we can handle it. Alright guys, let's clean up this beach. Awesome work guys, the beach is all cleaned up. Now to get rid of these cans. Wait a minute, you had your teleporter. Why didn't we use that to clear the trash from the beginning? Well we had to put everything in the cans first. That way I could teleport them to the sidewalk with no mess. Guys, look. Ah, uh, I love dolphins. Guys, look. Thanks! Is that Doug? He got so small. I don't think that's him. Doug is much bigger than him. Oh, hi. You're the kid detectives, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, do you happen to be related to the Douglas family? Yeah, my name's Damien. Damien Douglas? Is this a trick? A trick? g r r r r You must know Uncle Doug. I'm nothing like him. Anyways, I was here earlier helping clean the beach. Same with us. We just got finished. Look, just know I pledge to be the kindest boy in Beyond City, despite my uncle's ways. Your uncle may be a cranky crook, but you are a-okay, I guess. We actually have a restraining order on him. Kid detectives, come in. Hey Charlie, guess what? We met two new kids and they helped us clean the beach. That's cool. I've just finished cleaning up the park. Just curious, do you see any other suspicious activity on the way? No. Hey, isn't that the guy who stole that giant star last time? He's in the area. That must be Doug. That naughty uncle of mine. Oh, he has a nephew. Yes, but I'm not like Uncle Doug. I can't believe it. No ice cream. Stay here. I'm going to raid this house's fridge. One step closer and I'm calling the cops. Screw off Tom. I just want things to go my way for once. GRRRR, I am not in the mood for your shenanigans. Get out. Ugh, never mind. Forget the food. Let's go get Bridget. What's going on out here? Goodness Emma, what happened to your hair? You're barely realizing this? I've been asking for a haircut for two months already. I just overheard a lot of commotion. Yikes. Sorry to ask Charlie, but are you able to fix? Well, that was quick. Let me guess, haircut time. See, Dad? He noticed. Anyways, I would like... Same boring short hair? Nah. Boring? Hey. Wow, you gave Emma a new hairstyle. I love it. Wow. Hey guys, I'm back. Whoa, you're rocking a new hairstyle. Do you like it, Justin? So, Charlie, how are the kid detectives doing? Ayane told me they were cleaning up the beach. I was just in contact with them. They are with Doug's nephew Damien at the moment. Doug, Doug has, has a nephew? nephew? Why didn't Doug tell us? Seriously, Justin? Doug hates us. Why would he even mention that? Why would that even be a question? Dad, can we go meet the kid detectives at the beach? Sure, but stay close to Charlie. Thanks, Dad. Let's get our bathing suits. Hey there. Hi Emma, hey Justin. Wow, I like your new hairstyle Emma. Thanks Amber. New friends of yours? Hi, I'm Zoe, I'm new here. Nice to meet you Zoe, I'm Emma. And I'm Justin. I'm Damien. Oh so you're that nephew Charlie was telling us about? Yeah, don't worry, I'm nice. Hey, I forgot to mention, when I was changing, I noticed two troublemakers at the beach earlier. Ugh, bad guys again? Yeah, it was a grown man with glasses and a green shirt, and there was a small boy too. Wait, could that be Doug? Who was the boy? Um, he had a blue shirt and gloves. <gasps> Brayden. And I heard that they were planning a kidnapping. A kidnapping? Oh no! How did we not see them? They said they were gonna kidnap one of us. I forgot who it was though. Let go of me you creep. No 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 no. Whoa, sis. Come on guys. So this is where you moved to, Pop Brooklyn? Brayden Rogers, you really had to follow me again. Did you miss me, Brooklyn? Oh my, what's this? A meet and greet, but where's my biggest fan? Doesn't Bridget miss me? Bridget? Brayden, what did you do to my sister? Let her go this instant, Brayden. Brooklyn, help. I'm coming, sis. Hang on. This is payback. You're never gonna see your sister again. They're gone. Bridget, no, 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 no. Don't worry, Brooklyn. We'll help rescue your sister. But why would they do this anyways? Guys, she's never lost to Brayden before. I don't know how she'll handle this. We need to go now. Kid detectives, we've got to gear up and save Brooklyn's sister. But we're too far from our headquarters. That's where our newest kid detectives tool comes in. Awesome! Whoa. Say hello to our new kid detectives cruiser. It's awesome. beautiful. The kid detectives cruiser 
or KDC for short, is a portable HQ on wheels. How could you afford such a vehicle? Actually, I had some help, I did the blueprints, Mr. Wellington bought the parts, Charlie built the vehicle, and Caesar and Austin gave it power with Beyond Logic. Perfect, now let's gear up and go save Bridget. You kids are so lucky, I wish I was a hero. Maybe you can Zoe, you can come with us. Wait, really? Yeah, come on. Surprise bro. What? Sydney? Hey everyone, this is my little sister Sydney. Hi Sydney. Hi. Ah, your sister is so adorable. He he he, thank you. My sister is super smart, and I'm always proud of her. Guys, come on, my sister was kidnapped. We need to save her now. Oh no, how annoying. Annoying and trouble at the same time, sis. We need to save Brooklyn's sister. I shall be delighted to help remedy your dilemma. Ha, huh. Sydney's going to help us. Wait, does anybody know how to drive? Drats, I should have thought of an autopilot. Hey, I think I found a use for that robot head. Excuse me? Oh no. Uh... Charlie, calm down. Why are you screaming? That's a robot head. I'm a robot. Do the math. Wait, we can turn this head into an autopilot. Charlie, could you do that? Well, as long as we're reviving this poor fella, I'll do it. I'm kinda nervous, I've never been on a mission before. It's actually really fun. First, we need to gear up. Alright everyone, to the changing station. Good thing we had two extra outfits, what do you think? Ah, Zoe you look amazing. You look great too. Alright, with my navigation system, I can track down where Bridget is. I sure hope this works. My GPS says that Bridget is located somewhere in an old amusement park. It's believed bad things have happened there before, and you won't believe who the owner is. Is it Mr. Wellington? Actually no, it's none other than the troublesome Rogers family. Why would villains own an amusement park? Sounds suspicious. Someone exposed that they have a secret villain's hideout in there. It's very hidden though, so we have to get there before Doug and Brayden. Well it's a good thing that the KDC has a super speed engine built into it. And thanks to this robot head, we now have an autopilot. Robopilot, take us to the Rogers Family Amusement Park. Rogers Family Amusement Park, autopilot enabled. I don't understand. We looked all over this stupid park. Brooklyn, please calm down. Calm down. My sister was taken by Brayden. The reason why I even moved to this city was to avoid him. Brooke, please. I had to leave everything behind. All my old friends, my school, everything, just because of his evil harassment. I had to leave my old happy life behind for my family's safety. Now he's back. And he has my sister in there. I don't know what they're doing to her. And I, I just want my sister back. <laughs> don't worry Brooke. We got through saving Justin and Emma. Then saved the Vion Cinema Star. And saved the world from Angel Harlow's Vion Logic Power. No that third one was only Charlie. Not now Amber. As long as we work together, we're unstoppable. This is family related though. And I, I just don't want them to hurt her. What if they kill her? If they do that, then I would be so. <laughs> I don't think that would go far enough to kill somebody. I'm not talking about Doug. You have no idea how badly Brayden tortured me and my family. He'd definitely be willing to hurt Bridget. I may not know Brayden, but I don't think killing would be their option. Brooklyn, please take a deep breath. I'm so sorry I yelled at you all. I get extremely upset when someone messes with my family. Ah, uh, Brooklyn, we will make sure she doesn't get hurt. Brayden, if you dare lay a finger on my sister, I, I'll... Did you just see that? Wow. 
Whoa, this must be the hideout. Hang on, Bridget, we're coming. Yes, I did it, I finally did it. The kid detectives got so distracted, they didn't even notice me this time. And the best part is, it would be hard for them to find us. This place is so hidden, it will take them ages to find our spot. That's what you think. The troublemaking duo is outside the hideout. All right, we're in position. Great, I'm standing by in the KDC in case you need backup. Okay guys, let's see what happens. Okay, Brayden, change of plans, the kids had a tracker on the van. Eventually, they will find the hideout. We're ditching the van and taking Bridget out of town. When they find us, we'll put her under ransom. Oh, come on, this truck sucks. Quickly, before they drive off. Rook, is that you? Bridget, we're here to save you. I got the crowbar. You're safe now, Bridget. You saved me. Oh, Bridget, I'm so glad you're okay. How did you find me? Zoe overheard their plan. If it wasn't for Zoe, we wouldn't have been able to save you sooner. Zoe, thank you. Ah, it was no biggie. You did it. What's going on out there? Uh-oh, let's get out of here. Agreed. The girl is gone. G -r 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 -r. Nice try, guys. But you can't stop us from saving the day. What? No. How did they save her? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I can't believe they tricked us. You kids may have won this time. But next time, I will get you. You'll see. Hey, detectives. You saved Bridget. Thank you so much for helping me save my sister. And thanks to my little sister Sydney too, you're always welcome to join our missions. Thanks bro. I think Zoe deserves the biggest thank you, she tricked Doug and Brayden and even overheard their plans. Really? Thanks, but I only helped a little. You actually helped out a lot. Agreed. In fact, if you're up for it, how would you like to join our team? Really? Well, all I have to say is yes. Awesome. Welcome to the team Zoe. This is the best day ever. Hey guys. What's up, Charlie? Wow, you've expanded to five members. We're glad you're part of the VCKD. VCKD? It's an acronym for our team name. Oh, cool. Let's just hope Doug and Brayden don't do anything bad again. I wonder what happened to them. Probably sulking like most villains do. Those kid detectives ruined our plan, and it's only the second time they foiled me. So much for that plan. But I'll came up with another one. I'll need to brainstorm it though. Well, good luck with that. I will get those pesky kids one day. They'll see. Maybe. I need to find another recruit. So this is your HQ? Cool. It sure is. Now that you're a part of our team, you have a space to change into your uniform. Same thing for Sydney. Awesome. Zoe, good news? While you were out saving the day, your family arrived and they found a nice place near Brooklyn's house, and they heard about your heroic mission. They even left you this note. Thanks, Damien. Wow, that means we're next door neighbors. That means we can come visit each other whenever we want. So what does the note say? Dear Zoe, we heard about what you did and we are proud of you, you are a charm to our family. And as a result of your brave actions, you can always go out to play with your new friends that you have made today and every day. You are sweet and we hope you make it back in time for dinner at our new house in the neighborhood where one of your new friends lives. We love you a lot Zoe and we hope to see you when you get home. Love, Mom and Dad. Hee <laughs> hee. Ah, I love my mom and dad so much. Ah, that's so sweet. That is awesome dude. Yeah, my parents are awesome, just like you. 